After any major power outage, there's a systematic approach to restoring power to our members. And that approach is actually pretty simple. Restore power to the greatest number of people in the shortest amount of time. The electric grid is like a river in reverse. It starts with an ocean of power at the generation plants, flows to the rivers of the transmission lines to substations, and then into the streams of the distribution and service lines. These high voltage transmission lines supply power to substations that serve thousands of people. It's not often that these lines fail, but they can be damaged by tornadoes and heavy ice, leaving thousands without power. When major outages occur, the substations are checked first to determine if the problem is on the transmission side or the distribution side. Next, main distribution feeder lines are checked. These feeder lines carry power from the substations to large numbers of members such as towns and communities. When the power is restored at this stage, all members served on this distribution feeder should see the lights come back on. That is, as long as there are no other problems down line. The final distribution supply lines, called TAPs, carry power to the transformers outside your homes and businesses. Line crews restore remaining outages based on the approach of restoring power to the largest number in the shortest time. If isolated or localized outages persist, service lines or secondary lines are inspected. These secondary lines run from the transformer to your house. If damage occurs on your secondary line, this may be why your neighbor has power, but you don't. During outages, our linemen will drive out the feeder lines and tap lines to locate any problems and ensure that there are no other problems on the system. So, even though our trucks may have left your neighborhood without the power being restored, just know that our guys are still working to restore power to all of our members.